Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Okami. Uh, as you can tell, we are still in the village. Uh, unfortunately, I did not get the grinding done or even started. Reasoning why, I jumped into the game to go do exactly that. And, well, this happened. Reprompted a cutscene. I didn't want to deprive that of having that off screen because, well, this looks important. A creature of some sort. A dog. A fox. Dog. You guys, wait up. Well, I'll be. I haven't seen you in age. <laughs> I feel like my coughing's getting worse. It's soon. It is you. I thought I heard you talking to some nickel. Such a weird name. I just thought I'd come back and see how things were after my trip. I can't believe what's happened to the village since I've been gone. Mickle's the chief. We never talked to the chief, did we? Well, a lot happened this past year. Look, it'll freeze if you stay outside too long. Why don't you come rest at my place? And bring your white wolf, too. <laughs> and we would have gotten away with it, too, if it wasn't for you and your meddling wolf. Alright, what's up? At least it's... The cold is a bit more bearable inside. It's really been ages, hasn't it, soon? I'm Kai. No. Oh, Ina Girl Kai. This here is a Madarasu, otherwise known as No Bath Ami. What? Now let's cut to the chase. There's so much. <coughs> oh, I should probably do something about my call. Grab myself a cough drop here. That's right. We're going to cough drop here. Uh, someone's taped it up. Mm. Uno momento. I get a cough drop. Cough drop. Cough drop acquired. Let's see if it's <coughs> good. If I can get it open. It's a honey lemon flavor. Now let's, now let's cut to the chase. There's so much I want to ask you. First of all, about these demons that are plaguing Kamoi. What the heck brought that on? No one knows for certain. Those twin demons, Laku and Neku, they were sealed away by a brave Oni hero years and years ago. And they have been enshrined at the Wawuku Shrine. Or was, just, or was that just Wa Wauku? Wauku? Hakfu. Then one day, they suddenly stirred and went berserk. A terrible blizzard descended upon Kamoi. <coughs> I feel like it pops a bit better. Himu set out. For the shrine at the top of Izufuji to pacify them. But they nearly killed them. He was no match for their evil magic. Simithil managed to get to him just in time and bring him back. He then got even more violent and turned Izufuji into a glacier. Wow. They unleashed a blizzard to smother Kamoi in a layer of ice and snow. Chief Simithil's trying to Trying to protect the village while Kimu recovers. But there's nothing we can do against those demons. You really are in a fix if old man Kimu's prayers don't work. The day before the twin demons suddenly went berserk, we heard that what sounded like an earthquake from Senshu Field to the south. On that fateful day, Kimu declared that the evil force from the south had made its way here to Kamoi. Moi is sometimes called the land of hidden darkness, and there's a legend that says all demons are born from this land. I wonder if all the world's demons are coming back to Kamoi now. 
A black shadow passed overhead from the south recently and vanished into the Waku Shrine, as if it has been swallowed up. Actually, I think the blizzard's been stronger since then. Well, that's bad. Okay, we're gonna... Ooh. As soon as Simithil was chosen to take Kimu's place as chief, Oki just took the sword and left without permission. People from the village have tried to persuade him to bring it back, but Oki chases them off. He says he'll defeat the demons himself. He just walked away with the sacred sword? He didn't even ask permission. Well, everyone admits Oki's a great warrior. Even Samikul does. But it's impossible to defeat those demons all by himself. I just don't know why he did it. None of... Now of all times. Let me leave. Let me leave! Why would those demons mess with a little girl like that? That was Kimu's how. He's calling to you, Isuni. He's summoning the both of you. Alright. We should be on our way. Six minutes in. Alright. So, big out and go. Where? That's an interesting door. Uh, there's the exit. So we had a lot of interesting time going on with the Extra Life United. We're so close. It's this weekend, guy. Wait, what? Let's see, old man, come away before he kicks the bucket. Oh. Okay, you're turning me around, and it's very disorienting. Um, I was able to actually get into the Among Us game. Um, uh, they added not only did they add in more slots, but they also made it to where new people can sign up. <coughs> okay, you're not being very clear. Do I come up here? Yellow summons the white wolf to his home. You may enter. He's not very happy. He doesn't like the fact that we're welcomed in. I feel like this is just a frozen version of the first town. Looks like he might have already kicked the bucket. How many times did Gramps here tend my hide? This is no time to be dredging up the past. Let's see. I, I feel like his voice is... Who was that bad-mouthing me? Looks like there are some hides to be tanned. No. Hmm? Who did this? What happened? Was that a dream? Was I sleepwalking again? Sheesh, old man. Sheesh, old man snooze a lot, tans, hides in his sleep, too. Why isn't that little Isu? So that it wasn't dreaming. I got a weird voice. I don't do voices. This is a lot of communication and backstory and plot. Leica has gained spiritual power far beyond my own. His power is now the key to saving the land of Kamoi. Who's Leica? Huh? Are you saying Leica's power can defeat those demons? Not exactly. There is another reason we need her power. It is for Izafuji, the protector deity of Kamoi. Izafuji? As you know, Izafuji is formed from two active volcanoes. Each year, I recite the volcanic incantation. 
that triggers an eruption that warms the frigid land of Pumoi. Interesting. <laughs> but the demon's power has plunged Izafuji into an icy slumber. Day by day, day by day, Kimoi grows weaker and weaker, colder and colder. If we don't have Laika recite the volcanic incantation soon, the land of Kimoi will become an icy tomb for us all. Interesting. All right, I'm going to pause here, kind of. Uh, I need to talk about this. I'm very excited. I got in today my, let's see, shadow casts for my consoles. So I should be able to do some Switch games soon, which I am greatly looking forward to. Uh, once we start growing the channel more, I might be able to have um, uh, special days where we go, Hey everyone, come join me in Smash Bros and fight me. See if you can beat me. So I'm excited about that. I don't get why they have me stop if I need to still need to talk to him. Okay. Just go away. Yeah, yeah, erupt the volcanoes, burn the town. I mean, save the town. Interesting. What's behind door number Umuonuno? Uh, I feel like I'm getting very deep into the story, and as I do, I'm pulling more and more away from the ability to grab that item. Okay, what's back here? We have La Save Point. We have so much to do. Another civilization. Ooh. This is altar where the sacred sword Katuni was enshrined. There's a great view of Lauchi Lau Lake and Izafuji from here. We are now entered Lake of Liaogai. That's why they came here to pray to the mountains each year. Too bad the sacred sword isn't here now. The altar is also dedicated to the Ark of Yamato. It said the Ark has been frozen in Lauchi Lake for countless ages. Look, you can see it down there in the frozen lake. That's the Ark. Izafuji and the Ark of Yamato. This is a very sacred place for the Oana tribe. Interesting. Oh wow, you can really see down into it, can't you? Alright, let's get off the ice. Come on. I don't have ice shoes. Okay. Let's make our way up here. No time to feed the foxes. No matter how adorable they are. Ooh, is that is, are we entering a dungeon? That's a bear. We don't feed bears. Feeding bears are bad. Ooh, house. What's in the house? Oh, the door the gate's locked anyways. So I guess what's in the house? Why are they the save point, the top and bottom? Are you the one we seek? Nope. I know who you are. Yes, that divine look of yours, it's unmistakable. You're the legendary white wolf Shiranui, aren't you? Wow, they've heard of that name here, too. Well, I suppose Shiranui's legend didn't travel across the sea to Kamoi. I guess it really resonates with the Onesh cause because they're so spiritual. Oh, it's Izum. It's been quite a while, so you're still alive. <laughs> oh, you're still alive, Izum. <laughs> okay. It's the Oina Shaman Tuskal. I ain't ready to kick the bucket yet. I just left on a little trip, that's all. I'm glad to see you're safe. 
as you can see, we haven't been so lucky here in Kamoyan. Since the monsters are revived, many people have lost their lives. So many people die! Yeah, I've heard all about it. So let's hope with those demons coming back. And where the heck is Laika? Hmm. The demons have shut themselves up in Izufuji's Waku Shrine. They're responsible for the fierce blizzard raging throughout Kamoi. We're managing to keep some of it at bay thanks to Afun Gate. But then the day come but when the day comes, Kamoi is sure to freeze over completely. That's not what worries me most though. What worries me is how the demons were revived in the first place. Kimo noticed it as well, but first but just before the demons made their return, a dark force traveled here from the southern lands. We both felt an evil energy flowing to Kimoi. That's when the demons woke up, as if in response to it. Ray. <laughs> what evil should have we left in the world as to not plunge the world into complete and utter darkness? I should probably read this. It's as if they were being chased by something. What they didn't know was that on board with them were countless monsters. One by one, they were consumed till all the Celestials were dead. Ooh. Once the Ark crashed, the monsters disembarked and started ravaging the lands. The world hasn't been safe since. It's said that monsters still rise from the lake's depths. Oops, skip that part. That's about all I know about it. Hmm. I do have one thing to add to that, and that's the story of the one survi the one surviving Celestial of the Ark. The Ark fell to this world from the Celestial Plane. It was full of monsters which killed the Celestials on board. The legend tells that there was one man who survived. Can we guess who that Celestial is? He managed to escape from the hell that the Ark had become. He then fled, going into hiding somewhere in our world. Hmm. First time I've heard that. They say the reason monsters still emerge from the Ark and... Laokai Lake is that the rule of darkness is still searching for that man. It's <coughs> oh, <man. coughs> oh. it's all just a legend. No one knows if it's true or not. No one has ever set foot on it. But the Ark brought tragedy to our world. That's for sure. If the powers of darkness in the world are gathering in Kamoi, I believe it's because the Ark of Yamato is beckoning them. Hmm? I apologize for chatting so much. Now, if you come all this way, am I to assume that you have Kimo's permission? I speak of permission to enter Yashpet, the Forest of Confusion. Ooh. Led us into the Forest of Confusion. You attained uh, Sirocardo? With that amulet, you can pass by the Ona Crest unhindered, and you can proceed on into Yashpet. If Ella has deemed it to be right, there can be no mistake. You are the one who can find Lika. Find her before it's too late and Kamoi freezes over. Ooh. Let's see what we can do. Do I just walk up to it? Oh. Maybe I should have just walked. I don't know, I can... Running straight's not too hard. It worked with the racing. We're just gonna make our way over here. Oh, get me out. Get me out. Oh, side door. All right, we're probably just going to save back into the town. So this is a lot of build-up. They really get into the meat. I don't know, maybe I should go to 30 minutes. Get something going, you know? All right, let's talk to him. Let's see if he'll mark on our map where I need to go. Hmm. 
Okay. What does this guy say now? Bella must have summoned you because he wanted you to go to Yashpet. Don't forget to take that charm if you plan on entering the forest. You'll find it at the edge of Lucky Lake, north of our village. Yes, don't get mad. I did not know this. Hmm. So he said north. Uh, wrong button. Bring, let's bring up the map. Not what I want to display. Huh. Okay. So, do I want to go over here? I don't care if it's nighttime. Ooh. Never mind. I can't see a darnable thing. There we go. Uh, let's see. Can't really get over there. <laughs> What's the plan? Nope, didn't mean that. Does the bear attack me? I don't know what the bear is doing. Okay. There we go. Uh, am I stuck? Alright, so I must have to say north of the village. Uh, let's see. Water walking was the way to go. Uh... Hmm. Ooh, someone to talk to. Talk to you about something? No more than a leisure talk. You were asking? Okay. Okay, so I did have to leave the town. Wow. No living thing, Pomoe, will be able to survive the day. There are only a few days until the day of darkness. If Leica is not here to recite the volcanic incantation by then... Interesting. Where are you going? I swear, people do things and they just get in my way. Okay. A lot of running around just to go back to the beginning. Okay, so I think that's the forest. Which is okay, because I think that would cause just more problems. Oh, hello. I think we faced something similar to this with, like, the stone guys.
Let's see, what's the best way to fight this guy? Bomb was not the answer. Ew. I don't really have I'm pretty sure his weakness is fire and I don't have the ability to conjure fire. I'll take all that money though. Eighty five hundred, nice. Alright, are we good? Bears. Got it. Oh, there's fire. Fortunately, there was no fire in the battle. Uh, oh, another thing I can do is start making some uh, Super Mario Maker 2 videos. Hey, it's a good friend. Waka! Hmm? Why a Matarasu? But not that half-baked prophet again. What are you looking for now, Meshuri? I'm still looking for you know what, but this gold sure is making it difficult. If you're going to be dogging our tracks like this, you better tell us who you really are, who I really am. That's right, I mean, we already know that you're up to no good, excusez-moi, but I don't know who you're talking about. I'm just looking for a certain path. You could say I'm a seeker of the eternal heavens. Aha! Now I know why you keep babbling on about paths to the heavens. You're planning a wolf murder. Then you'll take Ami's place in heaven. Huh? <laughs> By the way, I take it. I've hit the nail on the head. That also explains why you keep turning up wherever we go. A path to the heavens. Bah! More like a highway to you know where. You misunderstand me, my little bouncing friend. The path to the heavens I seek is not as vulgar as such as that. My path to the heavens slumbers here in the land of Kamoi. I seek a heavenly ark. Heavenly ark? That's right. In Kamoi, there is a ship of iron locked in ice. I can sense it now. It is almost within my grasp. You two know this. Do you not, Amaterasu? <coughs> hey, leave Furball out of this. Well, I must bid you adieu. No need for any prophecies this time. Au revoir. Ooh, we're actually getting close to the 30 minute mark. So apparently I've wasted more time talking to my French man over here who's looking for the heavenly arc. But until next time, we'll continue the story in the, the forest. Enjoy the rest of your week. Peace.